So you've got the following reactive angular form. If we try to submit it and console log its value, what do you think will be the output? Actually, the output will be an object that contains only the email key value pair, which might be quite confusing and unexpected behavior because our form also contains password control right there. The trick is that the value getter in the form group model excludes disabled form controls from the final value object. And our password was exactly the disabled one. But if you want to get form group value that includes values also from the disabled form controls, then you must use the get row value method that behaves exactly as you expect. So now if you submit the form again, you will see that all form controls are present in the output. For more Angular tips, check out my YouTube channel.